I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So Ramona Acne is beating my ass right now so I'm going to take a break from makeup for today but I will be wearing makeup this summer so I want to do a video on the five, five each, five best primers and best setting powders to use if you have oily skin. So if you guys want to know what I think then let's go. So the first one I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face primer y'all know like i'm not the biggest fan of the all-nighter collection the foundation concealer the setting sprays it's not what everyone cracks it up to be at least for me but this right here is the only thing from actually no they have an all-nighter powder like the pressed one that's like a universal shade um that's also nice but this right here is like the best thing to come out of it this primer is one of those like face gripping primer so your makeup latches onto this and in the summer you know you start sweating and all that your makeup's not gonna go anywhere um, I don't believe I don't recall it claims to mattify or anything like that but it also could be because of the the gripping aspect of it um, my makeup uh, doesn't move throughout the day and my oil is pretty at bay for the day so uh, this one right here definitely check it out okay the next two I feel like pretty much do the same thing but they're two different brands they have like little slight differences I guess this one's more of just like a which brand do you prefer? The first one is the NARS Soft Matte Primer, and then the other one is the Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Soft Matte Primer. Um, they're mattifying primers, but they're not those, you know, you gotta be real careful of what you put on top of this, because if you put a mattifying foundation and then a whole bunch of powder and then a mattifying uh, setting spray on top of a really, really matte primer, your face you're gonna be like SpongeBob in Sandy's Treehouse or Clubhouse, whatever that's called. What do you call that? What is Sandy's thing called? Isn't it Treehouse? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, that's how your skin would feel if you did that. But see, with soft matte, you gotta get soft matte somewhere in there. You know, if you're gonna use more of a hydrating primer, maybe use a soft matte foundation. Like, so you can just get it in there because it gives you that matte finish that your oil won't be all over the place throughout the day but it'll also still kind of have that skin like finish to it and i feel like both of those do that very well um like i was saying i don't really see much difference between the two so yeah i think it just comes down to which one do you do you want to get the nars or the Fenty. I feel like it wouldn't be a video of me talking about my favorite primers if I didn't talk about the Milk Hydro. Gift. It's time for me to get a new one. This is pretty close to the top anyway, and I don't think it's supposed to be that color anymore. I haven't been using it. Um, but the Milk Hydro Grip, again, I have a thing for gripping primers. Um, kind of kind of the same thing as the Urban Decay one. Uh, as far as, like, I don't recall them saying anything about, like, mattifying your face, but because of the other ingredients in it like my oil does really well throughout the day when I use this on my face and I'm sure you guys have seen in other videos I rarely wear just one primer anyway so I'm almost like what's the point of wearing like layering um primers on your face and I'm like the same point is like layering you know different skincare because the the different ingredients and the different products are doing different things for your face so I might use a you know hydrating primer where I need hydration in my face and I need I use a mattifying primer where I need mattifying in my face that's why I use multiple ones at the same time so milk hydro grip definitely top five to check out I'm telling y'all right now this is the primer for the summer okay when I say your face not gonna move your face is not going to move she did exactly absolutely positively what needed to be done with this product and they have pigmented shades so you can get it as a foundation as well I feel like y'all already know it is the Danessa Myricks yummy skin uh, universal balm powder or something like that that's I don't remember the full name but if you guys saw the video I used the universal shade um, as a primer so I put it under makeup and I'm telling y'all my face does not move throughout the day I will come back eight hours later it literally looks like I just did my makeup for the day I tried it with other foundations you know sometimes when you try products they work best or better when you're using it with other products from the brand but I tried it with um, the NARS foundation combination I've been using lately I've tried it with a uh, foundation was that uh, Oh, uh, Fenty Skin Tint 
literally all of them. It's just if the product itself is that good, it's that girl. Okay, so it can it can stand on its own with any product you put on top of it. If you get nothing else, pick up this product and use it as a primer this summer if you have oily skin. I'm telling y'all. Now for five powders you need this summer. The first one is kind of what I was talking about when I was talking about the Urban Decay, like the type of product where it's so mattifying that you really do not need to use a lot of other mattifying products on your face if you don't want to dry out. And then when you dry out your skin, like that's when you'll start producing more oil because now your skin has to make up for that, that, that uh, hydration it's losing in its face. First one is that Fenty Beauty powder foundation. This one right here is literally the powder I break out I need my face to sit pretty, okay? I need my face to not do anything, not go anywhere, but I also know when I use this to relax with other mattifying products because I just it just starts getting real dry, real dry on my face. So like I use this with the Fenty Skin Tint and not you know, like the original um, Pro Filter foundation. And I use the shade Banana in this one because they did a really good job on giving a like yellow powder without it being full blown, you know, like yellow, like Sasha Buttercup type yellow powder. So this one right here, a fave for the summer. One of these is open because I've got powder all over me. The next powder, pretty similar to the Fenty one, a very mattifying powder. So actually are all of them? No, the other ones aren't as like mattifying. So these first two that I'm talking about, those are the ones like go run, get it. If you've got oily, oily, oily skin, you need something to combat that. Is the One Size Beauty, what do you call them? powder it um i have it in the shade translucent if you guys saw the video of me trying one size beauty for the first time i didn't you know again when you don't really like look into things you just go into it as a normal person would when they try makeup products i didn't realize you know using all the products together would give me a very matte face and i felt like i had a very matte face but like I said, use this with other things, more hydrating, more you know, soft matte, whatever uh, type products is going to look uh, very good on your face and it's also going to last very long on your face. This next one I usually use as an all over face setting powder, but I have talked about this a lot since I first tried it and it's another one of those like, yeah, you need it. Yeah, you really need it. Is the Dior face and body face, backstage face and body powder. This is in the shade 7N. This is just, it's a powder that's going to set your face. It's going to have you looking pretty. It's, it's that type of product that you use it towards the end of doing your makeup and it just blends everything together. Like it just smooths everything. It's like you add a filter to your face once you use this. So between the finish of this and you know how it actually wears throughout the day, I, I don't care. I literally do not use any other powder to like skin tone powder to set the rest of my face. I just, she's that girl. This next one, I was pleasantly surprised when I first tried it. I want to give you guys some drugstore options as well. Again, another, you know, mattifying powder, but not so much as far as the like Fenty and One Size Beauty. It is the Revlon Blot Matte Setting Powder. Um, I feel like if powders came in soft matte, like that's what this one would be. If you're looking for, you know, just cute little maybe you have oily skin but it's not oily oily type skin so you just need a cute little soft matte powder I feel like that's what this one would give this is in the shade 001 again uh, the rest of the powders I usually use as like a concealer setting powder so that's why they're you know like usually the same brighter shade um, and then the other one is the Milani translucent wait the Milani make it last is that what it's called yes make it last setting powder in the shade 02 this is another one that I'll use. I know I just pretty much got done saying I don't use any, but if there is a day where I don't feel like using the Dior one, the Milani Make It Last is one I'll use to set my entire face. Again, more so like a little soft mattes, a nice put it all together type powder and your face is going to last throughout the day. And yeah, y'all, that is it for the five setting powders and the five primers real tongue tied there that I would recommend for the summer if you have oily skin to really just keep your makeup on throughout the day have you looking good all that good stuff let me know in the comments down below what else you might recommend for anyone who is looking for anything else and yeah make sure to thumbs up comment subscribe to notification bells down below thank you all for watching I'll see you in the next one bye